Here we are on a job in Winston and we're going to catch a few gutters and put in some catch basins. So this gutter's fine. This one's just going to drain onto the driveway. This gutter, we're going to catch this one and take it across here. He's already got a drainage system, but it's not working. He's got a lot of corrugated. We're going to catch this gutter and we're going to stub out on the end here and bring it across here. Catch basin, catch basin, send it down along the, the thaw wag right there. And just it's going to end right before those trees. Yeah, right between the trees with that riprap. And then right here, he's going to put another downspout. So we're just going to stub out right here. And then a gutter contractor will hook it up. So we're, we can either go along here or we can come out a little bit further. We got to figure that out. This right here is a sump pump line. And we're going to catch that sump pump line and put it into our pipe. And then over here, guys, so that's going to be one system. Three downspouts, two catch basins. The next system is going to be here. There's a sewer line coming out right here. So we got to be real careful of that going to the septic tank. So catch basin here. And you can see where the water's been falling. And probably a catch basin here. And then we're going to catch this gutter. This is what we brought that dirt in for. Going to fill that in for him. Catch this gutter here, come out across. And catch this gutter, which again, there's already a system in here, but the system has failed. And then we're going to take it out here to where this pipe is right here. So this pipe, he ran the water in the gutter for probably 15 minutes before we got a little tiny barely trickle coming out of this thing. So here's where we're going to dig a hole on the end here, fill it with riprap.
setting up these catch basins is key for them to work right. right. And they come with these weird fittings, but I don't like using the fittings. So what we're doing here is we're just gonna block off these existing holes. And then we're gonna take our four inch, and I've got that four and a half inch hole saw that is a perfect diameter. So that's gonna be a much better fit. Holes? Yeah, I drill my own holes in there. Really? Why don't yep. the ones that they give you one? It's just all cheap plastic that just all silicones together. And so I don't like doing it that way. That's a 12? That's a 12 inch, yep. Okay. And we set them on a bed of gravel. Put some gravel in the bottom. Drill some weep holes in there. So it drains a little bit of water out. Yep, so you don't have a stagnant pool of water sitting in there. Yep. The other thing the holes do is if you get a lot of surface water here and the, the catch basin's not filling up, it could potentially float out. And so those holes let the water infiltrate too. What's the blue thing for? The blue thing? The blue tank. Blue paint. Oh, that's where we're going to trench. So over here we're trenching already. This is a pretty substantial system. We're doing four catch basins and catching five gutters. But he's got a lot of water coming in here. And he's got a lot of water coming in here. And he's already waterproofed the basement. So that's where they dig down like eight feet. And he's still got water coming in. So this is definitely a, a big system, but it's gonna protect his investment. He's already had a lot of water in the basement causing a lot of problems. And he already had a corrugated system put in here and that of course failed. So that's why we don't use corrugated because it does not work for very long. Here we're putting in two catch basins in line with each other. And so we've got that one set already coming down here. And you don't ever want to take one catch basin into another catch basin and the reason is because the inlet coming into the catch basin has to be low enough to where you've got good fall from the first catch basin. The outlet has to be lower than the inlet. And so by doing it this way, where you have basically a blind end here from this catch basin, you can have a much higher outlet right there and give yourself a nice good fall right there. So it's a little bit more work to put them like this instead of just stringing them all together, but you get much, much better results this way. This was a little bit challenging to pipe all this. Got a couple of 45s there. Got a 22 and a half, a 22 and a half, a Y. Got a 22 and a half, a street 22 and a half, 22 and a half, sanitary T. And we had to shorten our pipe there, so there's a coupling right there. But we got it piped in pretty well. Everything's got great fall to it. And we're gonna catch this gutter over here. There's a water line over here. It's, we think it's pretty deep. We've got some pictures of it before, before the dirt was all in here, but Jeremy's still handing it just to be safe. And then this side of the house will be done.
these 12 inch catch basins come with these pre cut out holes and these fittings but they're too low first of all and so you have to dig your whole trench so low to get that to use that hole so what I like to do is I like to fill in this hole with the with the pad or with the the uh, cover that comes with it and drill my own hole and so I use a four and a half inch hole saw and that is just about as tight a, a fit you, as you can get that also lets me angle it or set the pipe wherever it's going to land so that my catch basin can be exactly where I want it and my pipe can be exactly where I want it let's take a look at the other one we stubbed out right here and so he's going to put another gutter downspout right there and catch right there. So you can see I did the same thing over here with this 12 inch catch basin. And again, you can see just how tight that four and a half inch hole saw does with that four and a half inch pipe or that four inch pipe. These 20 inch catch basins don't come with any holes in them, so you cut, the, cut your own holes. And there's the hole saw right there. Here we are about finished up with this job. We've got one pipe coming out over here. And we caught this gutter down spout, piped it across here. Here we are finished with this job and I wanna see how we did. So we've got a catch basin there, catch basin here. We caught this gutter, taking it across the yard here. We caught this gutter. And he had an existing corrugated system that failed, which is why we're here. And this was pretty close to where the original outfall was, so we went ahead and did it right here. As you can see, we've got some rain going on too, so we're catching a little bit off the gutter or off the roof too. And there it is. That's how a gutter system is supposed to work. Yep. Again, this customer had a corrugated drainage system. All this was already done previously, and that system failed because the corrugated clogged up and stopped flowing. <laughs>